Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, my youngest daughter is six years old, and she's starting to play travel uh, coaches pitch softball. Now, we bought her this helmet last year, or I guess it was this year, for uh, T-ball, and it was her last year of T-ball, and the helmet still fits really well, but she started playing uh, travel coaches pitch softball this year or this fall and the t-ball they don't require a face mask and the helmet didn't come with one but it fit her really good it was the best fitting helmet in the store so we bought it for her. and uh <clears throat> we kind of hate to you know go buy another helmet with a face mask on it when this is a good helmet so we ordered a face mask for it now we bought this off of Amazon, and when you re read the reviews, everybody talks about how awful it is to install. They said, you know, there's no directions comes with it or anything like that. And I just, you know, looking at the, the picture online and the helmet, I, I mean, I'm fairly mechanically inclined, so I don't see it as being it shouldn't be as hard as, as as it is I don't know with no instructions maybe some people just can't can't quite figure it out and I understand um, so I thought I haven't even you know it's still in the packaging and everything I haven't um, tried to put it on so I'm gonna see if I can install it and hopefully make this video for uh, some people that are not quite as mechanically inclined as I am and and uh, maybe it'll help them out so I'm assuming I haven't like I said I haven't opened any of the packaging but I'm assuming it's gonna take a Phillips screwdriver or a cross as some people call it and uh, I'll move the camera in and we'll get a little closer and we'll see what and all comes in this pack okay so before we get started this is a Under Armour helmet and it's a UAB H2 110. And these face masks, you buy them for um, baseball or softball. And I, I'm pretty sure, I'm not 100% sure, but I think the baseball ones are for baseball and softball. But the softball face mask is for softball only. And I would say that's due to the size of the holes because a baseball could possibly fit through there because it says for 11 inch balls only. <clears throat> so let's tear into it here and see what we got. And I guess the uh, face mask model number would be a UABHFGS2-1 and we bought this off of Amazon it comes with a little chin strap so that's got snaps on it there is snaps on the side of the helmet. So I don't know. Typically we don't use those. Alright, so if you'll notice these clips right here. This is the top of the face mask. Those are going to go right over the bill of the helmet. Just like that. Okay. So then <clears throat> this face mask or this helmet only has one set of screw holes. And in the hardware kit, it comes with these clips. Now, those clips look a little confusing, but what's going to happen is, is you're going to put it over this metal bar and squeeze it together. I'm not sure yet. Let me look and see. 
which direction those need to go on there, but yep. So you're gonna push that in until it clicks onto the veal. Yep, and just like that. So we'll put the other one on. And remember these with will go from the back forward and then you'll squeeze them together. You may have to get you a little pair of pliers or something. <clears throat> and then put the screw in there. And you can use a uh, flathead screwdriver. But anytime you can, a Phillips will work better in this application. And I wouldn't have bothered making this video if there wouldn't have been so many reviews about how hard it is to install. I'm struggling a little bit to get the holes lined up, but when I do, it shouldn't be no problem. There we go. All right. I'm just, I'm just going to leave that loose for now until I get this one started. Snug this one down. <clears throat> That's a good tight fit. It doesn't rattle at all on the helmet. That's it. Pretty simple. So now there's instructions on how to install that. You just have to remember that these clips are spread open so that you can fit it over the bar. And when you do, you squeeze it back together and the screw hole will face toward the front of the helmet. And then if you choose to use the chin strap, most times if you go to the ball field, you see these things laying around everywhere where nobody likes them. So. That's it. So guys, I hope that was helpful. And uh, <clears throat> maybe Amazon will find this video and post it with these face masks or something. I don't know. But I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you hadn't already, go down and subscribe. We sure would appreciate it. And we'll see you next time.